Hi everyone! Today I'll walk you through the steps for converting the file format of an image in Power Automate. As a reminder, this will work the same way in Azure Logic Apps. To perform this flow, we will be using a Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector. To start our flow, go to the Create tab on the left-hand side in Power Automate and choose Instant Flow. Now, click Manually Trigger a Flow and press Create. Now that we've reached the flow page, we can start putting together our function. Click New Step to input your source file. Like in all of our videos, you can choose from whichever file source you prefer. I'm going to be using the OneDrive Get File Content action in this video. Once you've chosen your file input action, you can retrieve the source file. For this function, you'll need to choose the file for the image that you want to convert. After this, we will add another step using a Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector, which is the connector with the green Cloudmersive logo. From the list of actions, we want to pick Image Format Conversion. If you've never used a Cloudmersive connector before, you will be prompted to input your API key now. This is free on the Cloudmersive website without commitment, and once you've input it here, you won't be asked for it again. In this connector, you will first add the file format of your input, in this case, we will put JPEG. Then we need to add in our desired output file format. I want to convert my image to PNG for use on our website, so that is what I will put as the output file format. Then, add your file content as the input file and name it whatever you'd like. I'm naming mine testinput.jpg. Adding our final step, we will choose the Create File option for your preferred file drive. Select the desired folder path and input a name for your output file. Make sure the name ends with .png, or whatever file format you chose for your output. Then we can insert output content in the file content dialog box. After this, let's save our flow. Now that we've finished all of the input steps, we can run our flow. Click on Test in the upper right corner, then choose the option for performing the trigger action manually, and press Test. Then we can click Continue and Run Flow, which will trigger the flow for us. Here, you'll be informed if the flow is successful or not, and after clicking Done, you will see green check marks next to all of the connectors showing that the flow worked. Sometimes it takes a second or two for all of the check marks to appear, so don't stress if that happens to you. If your flow doesn't work for some reason, check to make sure your original input file was valid for the connector, meaning it was an image file, and that the names you chose for your files throughout the flow were followed by their file type, such as .jpg and .png. Now you can check your chosen folder for your newly converted image. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to check back in for more tutorials and tips on using Cloudmersive connectors in Power Automate.